Hello and welcome to Sage Studio YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to have a quick look at the face recognition application for Reed Terminal made with uh, QT5, HiSight 2, and TensorFlow Lite. Uh, the package, the PIP package I used for the uh, design is called uh, QT Material and it gives the, uh, this app sort of Android-ish material design look uh, and it also makes it more touchscreen friendly. It is a demo application with a few main functions. Registering face in a database, deleting the face from a database, optionally sending MQTT message on the topic when authorized device is detected, and also optionally activating a GPIO ping uh, when authorized face is detected. The model used for face recognition is a mobile FaceNet, which uh, and the current model achieves 99.3% uh, accuracy on LFW, uh, which is labeled Faces in the Wild, uh, data set for face recognition. As you might guess by the name, Mobile FaceNet actually uh, takes its uh, feature extractor uh, from MobileNet. It is a slightly modified one, but uh, it has a lot of similarity to feature extractor of MobileNet version 2. Uh, and uh, it adds a few blows and whistles on top of that. Uh, for example, uh, linear convolution uh, instead of uh, global max or global average pulling, which uh, helps raise accuracy a bit further on the face uh, recognition tasks as opposed to image recognition. And uh, arc face loss is used for training. For database, uh, you'll find there are two versions uh, on different branches in the GitHub repository. The first one is uh, stores the uh, names, IDs and face feature vectors to a local database, so basically just uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a JSON file uh, where these vectors are stored and it's suitable for testing or really small databases. And on Postgres uh, branch you will find uh, uh, the same app but that's able to connect to external PostgreSQL database, uh, which is more suitable for larger databases or if you plan to have multiple of these devices, multiple of uh, re-terminals, uh, using the common database of faces. The database, it should be created and populated with dummy sample before, uh, before you start using it with the face recognition app. And you can see the example on how to do that uh, in, on Postgres branch in tests, testpostgres.py file. It is a sample app, so think of it as a starting point for developing your own applications uh, that, for example, could be a door lock or perhaps an uh, attendance, automatic attendance taking system for a classroom or any other application that comes to your mind. So have a look and have fun hacking it.